Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, so, I am. Um, I have just left the garage. So, if you've watched the previous episode, I got the whole car service and all of that. Left with the car, and I am now parked up at the side of the road because the alternator belt has decided to shred itself. I kid you not. Um, I'm probably maybe five kilometers away from the workshop and it lasted five kilometers and it's literally shut itself so I'm now waiting for one of the guys to come change the alternator belt again um, and then we're going to take it back to the workshop and um, I think the alternator is crap and I th obviously the the belt itself is crap but there's something that's causing the alternator belt to uh, to malfunction as it is and um, it must be the alternator so back to the workshop it goes so frustrated as you can probably tell so should be running from there to there and you can just see it sitting at the bottom over there um, it shred itself and it's obviously now not connected to the alternator anymore. And obviously I'm not parked in the best of places either, so... Whoa! Okay. So I'm tired. I spent the entire day at the workshop today. And um, I really thought I'd have the car for a week. Get the alternator belt from the UK. But I think this alternator he's put in is probably rubbish as well. So I think that that's possibly part of the problem and the belt as well. So I think I'm just going to have to buy from the UK and uh, fit it in. But the sad thing is, is that I wanted to take it home today and s start using it, testing it. I've got a road trip in uh, a couple of weeks time, in three weeks time. So I wanted to actually start using it myself and uh you know just make sure that there's nothing else wrong with it but yeah i'm just so disappointed really am so i wanted to give you guys an update on where we actually ended up with the alternator it turned out that the alternator itself was fine uh it was actually the belt but not probably for the reasons that you're thinking uh it was actually what actually happened was it was the wrong type of belt and the wrong size of belt as well and uh what actually happened was the the, the belt itself, the car was fitted with this particular type of belt and uh, when that belt snapped they replaced it with the same type of belt and that happened a few times and they put it down to a defect belt, you know, poor, uh, poor quality belt um, and so they just kept replacing it. We only realised the problem when we ordered the original belt from the UK and when that came it was a different size and it turns out that it's actually supposed to be, the alternator is supposed to be connected to a different pulley. The pulley that was next to it actually had the space, it had the size for it to be connected, it had a, a like groove there for it to be connected. So it was just assumed that that's where it needed to be connected, but it's, I think it was further down in the, uh, at the front of the engine that the belt actually needs to do, needed to be connected. And it only became apparent when we actually got the right belt in our hands. So it just goes to show, you know, you, you, you buy used cars and people, you know, they put the wrong type of, you know, um, uh, you know use the wrong parts and whatnot. And, you know, you don't know, and, and, you know, unless you sort of get the right part in, um, in some cases. So, yeah, so we, we managed to fix it. Now, a lot of you will know that, you know, I'm a huge fan of the Arnage T, uh, this, the one that I'm driving uh, is the Arnage Red Label, and uh, I'm, but I'm a huge fan of the Arnage T. So the Arnage T is a 450 brake horsepower car, twin turbo, much nicer interior, all of that. And there was one that I was looking at uh, a couple of weeks back, and that was, to be honest with you, it wasn't in great condition. The engine needed probably a top end rebuild. It was just a lot of problems. Decided not to go ahead with that one um, and to be fair that was a pretty easy decision but then another one came up and this one was potentially a better car and potentially for a better price as well 
Um, so I decided to go and have a look and we're going to have a look at it now. So this is the car, it's a 2005 Bentley Onage T and um, I don't know a huge amount about it uh, except that um, the guy who owns it is part of the royal family um, and um, this car came into this workshop um, about four or six months ago um, with a fault and uh, they've been trying to fix it since and it's been off the road for maybe another six or twelve months before that. Um, so it's done uh, 80 odd thousand kilometers and that was um, us starting it up. So the story with this car is that it's actually been at this workshop where it currently is. It's been sat it's at this nice. workshop for about it's maybe like six out. months, uh, maybe a little bit longer. And um, basically it came in because it wasn't working, obviously. Um, and these guys have been trying to fix it. They haven't been able to fix it. They charged this guy probably about $10,000. Um, to work on, you know, for the work that they've done in this car, and literally, I can't see what they've done. But anyhow, the the car is not working. It's got a major leak on the rear main seal, so we were a little bit even worried about starting the car up. Um, and uh, that's just one of the problems. You can hear all these buzzers going off. It sounds like a hospital ward, to be honest with you. Um, and it's just like loads of buzzers going on. Every uh, error on the display going off. Um, you know, so plenty, plenty of problems. Um, and yeah, it's got the potential to be a decent car, um, but it's also a little bit, condition-wise, looks a little bit dodgy anyway. But here you can hear the engine. Um, engine sounded okay, it's not wobbling, it's not shaking. Um, it started up pretty much first time straight away, um, as you saw earlier. And uh, I mean, it's running okay. Um, but we do know that that rear main seal, um, you know, that that's leaking. Um, there's lots of electrical problems, um, you know, as I mentioned already. And you can see the condition; it's just like absolutely filthy. It's dusty. Is it possible to drive it a little bit? So here, I'm just trying to uh, drive it a little bit just to sort of test the gearbox. Okay. I wanted to wanted to test the car, um, but it's got an oil leak, so they're a little bit reluctant. But they did agree to it. Um, just so that I could just drive it a little bit at least anyway. Britain, um, I'm, I'm from Britain. I'm, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from London. I live here, mm. but I'm from London. That's why you like it this time. Yeah, yeah. So here you can see even the interior. I mean, it's um, there's, there's something wrong with the stereo. I'm not able to close the, uh, the stereo door, um, you know, and you know, even though it's running, you know, there's there's lots of sort of display problems on the dash. You know, plenty of issues, plenty of interior problems that need to be sorted out, as well as all the engine sort of stuff. This needs adjustment. I think this needs to go inside. Yeah, I mean, it was it was clear there's like trim pieces that were, um, you know, that that were loose as well. Um, and you'll, you'll see shortly the rear is a bit of a mess um, you know so it's just one of those cars that it's just been it looked like it'd been really neglected um, you know I think it kind of developed some issues and then after that the owner um, at this stage I didn't really know too much about it um, but the owner uh, just seemed to uh, not spend the money on the car although saying that he was trying to get the car repaired at the same time you know so he w it's not that he wasn't trying to do it but these guys where the work with this workshop where the car is they just didn't know what they were doing um, I just want to hear the engine again. Yeah, so I just wanted to hear the engine. I mean, really, just to sort of um, try and capture the sound more than anything, so I can send it to a mechanic friend of mine, and then he'll be able to tell me whether it was uh, running okay or not. It sounded okay to me, but then what do I know? I mean, I'm just sort of uh, winging it as I go along. So you can see here the, the back of the seats has come off um, and 
you know, um, it has actually broken clips on there, so that's the reason why it wasn't staying in place. Um, but otherwise, the back was in really good condition. I mean, it was, uh, it looked like it was unmarked, um, you know, just again, a little bit dusty. Um, it really needed a good uh, detail. Um, but that sort of thing wasn't something to worry me. It had a nice spec, it's got piano black wood, it's got the, um, the uh, engine turned aluminium uh, waste rails. So what do you think guys? Uh, sorry for the background noise, I'm actually sitting in a uh, quite a large coffee shop and it's quite noisy in here but hopefully the voice is coming through okay. Um, but what do you think of that? Uh, 2005 RNRGT, 80,000 kilometer odd, um, needs a lot doing to it. Mechanically it's been off the road I, I'd say at least 12 months and uh, it's got a lot of faults, a lot of faults. Mechanical faults, electronic faults, um, but it could, it has the potential to be a really nice car, 450 brake horsepower, um, so yeah, pretty decent overall. Uh, I think it's got good potential, and I do prefer the Arnage T over the Arnage Red Label. Uh, I love my Arnage Red Label, to be honest with you, but um, the the T, the interior is that little bit more special with the uh, uh, the crotch, cross stitch design on the uh, on the seats. Uh, the piano blackwood, the turned aluminium uh, dash, um, you know, and waste rails, uh, black exterior. I mean, it's got so much potential. The one thing I didn't like was the alloy wheels. It's not the standard uh, Arnage T alloy wheels, um, uh, but they are still Bentley wheels. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, should I consider it? Is this a project that's worth uh, taking on? Uh, I just know Bentley projects I mean the Arnage red label was a running car and that was a big project uh, this is even bigger um, so could take uh, a lot of time and a lot of money to get it back on the road anyway let me know what you guys think and uh, leave some comments in the section below thanks very much and I'll keep you updated with the next video